Ezekiel 5 chapter. Now, I'm going to get this question a couple times on Twitter, so I thought I'd do it quick here. This is Ezekiel chapter. I hear folks who talk about it. And it's why the USA Today says that being red is a khaki style. Is worship in the Dale EMC. The math is really easy, and it was a simplistic way to look at it. But there's truth in the statement. First, it's important to understand what's a tracking stock. Tracking stock is something that the company used back, primarily back in the dot com bubble. When I was at the Chicago Tribune, we had a uh, uh, a few technology business units that were highly successful. The Tribune wanted to ride the wave of the dot-com bubble without giving up control of those companies. The way to do that was to issue tracking stock. A tracking stock is a uh, special security that doesn't have the same weight as a traditional stock. So a common stock, you usually have some type of voting right, you receive dividends. None, none of that is the case in a tracking stock. So the company gets keeps control of the uh, business while I wouldn't say spreading risk because there, there's not a whole lot of risk for them when it, when it comes to issuing, issuing a tracking stock, but they get to uh, reap the financial benefits. From an investor's perspective, there's the ideal that you get a discount and share in the performance of a highly valued business unit. So, the way that uh, Dell is helping to finance the deal is basically to treat VMware as if it was a high-performing uh, VU, issue a tracking stock, and help finance the deal. So if we look at what makes up the Dell EMC deal, it's two parts. One is cash, $24 a share uh, for EMC stock, plus $9 in VMware tracking stock. If we look at EMC's current stock price, EMC's cur cur current stock price is around $24. So the basic math tells us that if investors were very confident about the deal then and, and, and the value of the tracking stock, they would issue, uh, they basically bid up the shares to at least 30 bucks, $32 a share, around what they think that the deal would close at. It's simple math. I mean, if, if you if six months from now you're promised to get thirty three dollars, or you're promised to sell something at thirty three dollars, and today it's selling at twenty four dollars, then there's some weakness in there. I'm not uh, expert enough to tell you what that weakness is and what the major concerns are. The basic math of the deal is is that uh, EMC investors are getting twenty four dollars in cash per share. The stock is trading at $24 per share, which basically values the uh, VMware tracking stock at zero. Investors don't see uh, the VMware uh, or the people who are purchasing EMC shares today don't value the VMware tracking stock at all, basically. They're just taking the value of the cash or in the overall deal. That's it for this special Out of Bounds CCO Advisor. I think I'll take a few repeats because I got an awful lot of questions and a day is not enough. If you guys want to follow me on the Twitter, it's at CCO Advisor and the blog and podcast can be found at the 